Welcome. In this video, we will look at SAP S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management and try to explain three key concepts used to determine the put away location for a given product. With put away strategies, slotting and rearrangement extended warehouse management provides all relevant tools to help you keep your warehouse in good order. This video presents a high level and generic overview of a specific SAP product or functionality. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. The goal of this video is to provide information that will make you better equipped to make your own choices. Before we kick off, let us look at some of the benefits of optimizing product placement in the warehouse. You can optimize product placement considering its characteristics as well as demand pattern. Optimal placement can increase warehouse productivity by reducing empty travel time and at the same time improve the utilization of warehouse space. Let's address a key question. What is it, or maybe, who is it, that determines the put away bin location for a product? The answer is rather simple. It's you. In a simple warehouse environment, you may manually choose a bin during execution. Or assign a fixed bin to the material in advance. Or even better, apply proper put away strategies. Let us look into what is called storage bin determination for put away. The aim of storage bin determination is to find the best physical destination storage bin for a put away process or an internal warehouse goods movement. In addition to other data, parameters from the product master that you have defined manually or that were determined in slotting are used to do this. Slotting will be explained in a minute. Storage bin determination for put away occurs automatically when a warehouse task is generated. Put away relevant parameters can be set manually. However, by utilizing the slotting capabilities in EWM, you can get system support and significantly improve this process. During slotting in EWM, put-away parameters are set by the system, for later usage during put-away bin determination. As things change, for instance, the demand for a certain product, parameter values may change as well. We will briefly describe the different put-away relevant parameters in the warehouse product master. A put-away control indicator is used to ensure that specific products are placed in specific storage types. The planned put-away control indicator is determined during slotting. The storage section indicator makes the system determine that a product is to be put away into one particular storage section, in preference to another. You can define more than one storage section, in priority order in a table. The storage bin type indicator makes the system determine that a product is to be put away into one particular storage bin type in preference to another. Also here, you can have more than one, in priority order. The last one, the bulk storage indicator, classifies a product according to the way it is stored in a bulk storage area and how stackable it is. During slotting, the system determines the underlying storage parameters that are relevant for put away on the basis of product master data. Slotting considers product data, requirement data, and packaging data. These parameters describe the storage section in which the product is to be stored the properties that the storage bin is to have, and the put-away strategy that is to be used. During slotting, the system determines the following storage parameters and stores them in the product master. 1. Put-away control indicator. 2. Maximum quantity and storage type. 3. Storage section indicator. 4. Storage bin types. Before we run an actual slotting, we will look into the product master of a given product. We can see that the PACI is now set to 0050. To see how the slotting works, we will change the demand quantity from 10 to 10,000. We now run slotting based on new demand quantities. We can see that we have new slotting results. Planned PACI has changed to Y023. To have that reflected in the future putaways, we will have to activate the planned PACI. The active put-away control indicator is now set to Y023. 
Slotting is the foundation for rearrangement. Rearrangement is the actual move of products in the warehouse as a result of slotting. For instance, moving fast moving items to more optimal storage bins. Rearrangement is an optional task after slotting. You may run slotting every day, however, perform actual rearrangement only a few times per year. The system compares the current storage type, storage section, and storage bin type with the optimal parameters from slotting and will propose warehouse moves to improve the position. You can assign a slotting index for each step in a search sequence. The first entry in a search sequence should not have a slotting index so that a storage bin with an optimum storage type, storage section, and storage bin type has a slotting index of zero. You can identify the most urgent stock transfers on the basis of the following data. Slotting index of the current storage bin. Difference between the slotting indexes of the proposed storage bin and the current storage bin. The functionality shown in this video is available in S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management, embedded and decentralized. It is also available in classic SAP Extended Warehouse Management 9.x. Before we end the video, let us recap some of the benefits of optimizing product placement in the warehouse. You can optimize product placement considering its characteristics as well as demand pattern. Optimal placement can increase warehouse productivity by reducing empty travel time and at the same time improve the utilization of warehouse space. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.